Hi everyone! Well, <laughs> that was fun. I have to say, that was extremely good fun. And um, Kate McMillan, she won, um, saying it was a bath mat and it actually was. And I said it comes in a set. Ooh, and here it is. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. And it is a bath mat. I didn't get the other bits with it because you can buy them individually. So I just bought the bath mat. It was cheap enough. It's lots and lots of uh, fibres. Uh, and I thought what fantastic flowers that would make. And it certainly did. So there you go. And look, that's the back. It cuts very easily. Um, and I'll get heaps out of that. In fact, I'm not actually going to use it all for flowers. But this is a flower I'm going to show you. Now I'm also, I'm going to use the, this different middle as well. So these were just cut from, what were they cut from? Tablecloth or something like that. So I'm just going to trim round these. And I'm going to show you how I made that flower. So this is what I say, please, 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 when you go out shopping, think outside the box. Um, and you know, you can do almost anything with anything listen i always try and give you good advice and that is to save money okay so if you want cotton to make shabby sheep flowers don't go buying yourself a meter of material that's going to cost you an arm and a leg go and buy yourself a single sheet out of that single sheet especially if you're getting white or cream or pink you know the, th the material the color you're going to use a lot then buy a big sheet um, and that way it's going to last you for a long time. It, what will it do? A lot of things. You can use it on your flowers to make your gathered flowers like I do, the shabby sheet ones. You can do it to line things if you're going to make a plaque or a bag or whatever. So the material will always be there for a long time and it's worth paying that little bit extra for a sheet than paying a, something very similar for a metre. So I'm just advising you on what's the best way to go. You want your crafts to go around and last a while, you know, then is it worth, you know, it's worth it, isn't it? It's it's just a little bit of bother to go and get it, isn't it? Um, but I buy sheets. I buy curtains and sheets and all sorts to craft with. So here's my flower. Here's my fabric that I've got. <laughs> that I've cut. Doesn't matter how I many, you do take the ends off, that's nothing. You know, I've cut them big enough to get a decent sized flower. Uh, and so I'm going to change my scissors. Uh, and just cut the edges off like that. Like I'm doing a circle. Is that... I've got that like a circle. Don't worry about any of this fluff. Like that. So just discard that bit and then turn it that way and pull the fibre out like that and you get it all shabby. Now if you've got it and it's slightly out of the uh, shape, which this is just slightly, trim it down like that. And you can still shabby it up, don't worry about that. But isn't that fantastic? A bathroom mat turned into shabby sheet flowers. See, this is where my mind plays all the time. Get the centre of where you want it to be. Whoops, get rid of my rubbish. I'm going to take my flower, which is going to go in the centre like that. So I'm just going to get my glue. Push that right down, so I've got that. And then to that, I'm going to add <coughs> a nice flower centre. Let me have a look what I've got. Ooh, well, I could have that, couldn't I? A little bit too big for what I want, though. Um, where is it? <gasps> beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. So this is also going to go to the winner. Um, and thank you so much, everyone, for taking part in this competition. Little bit of fun, isn't it? And I like having fun. 
beautiful. Just make sure that that does stick. Like that. And then just pull them out. Them fibre bits. You can trim any longish ones off. Right, like that. I'm just doing my nail, th uh, thumbnail, going around the edge like that and pulling out any bits that you want. And then you can just trim them like that. And fluff them up, whatever you want to do with them. Brilliant. <laughs> and there you go. You have a shabby chic flower. Well, let's fluff them up. And that will look fantastic on a project. Okay. So there you go, and that's coming to you, um, and that's uh, Katie, oh sorry, is it Kate, Kate uh, McMillan, send me your details darling, um, I tried to send you a message asking you for them, but it said you have to add me before I can make a comment to you, or send you a message, so um, you have to do it to me, and there you go, so you will now get those three flowers, <laughs> fabulous wasn't it? <laughs> great competition a lot of fun and thanks everybody for joining in i don't know i might just throw the odd one in here and there from now on take care bye bye for now